Success isn't comfortable. Moving to a new city isn't comfortable. Trying something new isn't comfortable and it's not meant to be. So today I wanted to talk all about comfort zones. We all have them and they impact how we live our lives more than we even realize. This week I'm going to be doing little things that make me nervous, pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. I will always remember my vocal coach when I was in college telling me that the space outside of our comfort zone that is where the magic happens and i'm very grateful for the lesson because it's something i remind myself every single day good morning i feel very sleepy but i told myself i'm gymming this morning so we're doing it it's tuesday giving myself like a break on monday to ease into the week but Let's okay, let's get something straight. You guys see me quite a lot in the gym in my vlogs, but the gym was once a place that terrified me and honestly sometimes it still does especially when i'm not working out with will and i'm doing weightlifting i always feel like i'm using the equipment wrong like my form is wrong but you have to remember nobody is good at something the first time they do it and my relationship with the gym is a work in progress but i'm proud of myself for being a lot more consistent with it this year so about five years ago, I never thought that I would have the courage to upload a YouTube video, start a YouTube channel, despite being someone who had watched YouTube for years. And I always kind of wondered like, what would that be like? What would it be like being a YouTuber? But the fear of being judged, the fear of failing, not seeing growth, putting myself out there, used to be all too consuming and very much out of my comfort zone. In early 2020, I took the leap and started uploading regularly on YouTube and now in 2023, this is my job. It's something I'm still getting used to but I will forever be grateful to me in 2020 deciding to change up something in my life and really pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Summer, I don't know, it ignites something in me, it gets me excited, it gets me excited to kind of better myself, take chances, create opportunities for me and so I'm excited to make videos that encourage you to work on you and go chase after whatever it is you want to achieve this summer and so it's like the Bloom with Becca series. That's basically the whole overarching goal and theme I like to think with my content. I'm going to shut that door because you can definitely hear my washing machine. I actually was watching a TED talk this morning about stepping out of your comfort zone and the woman who was doing that said stepping out of your comfort zone once you're there is never as scary as it once looked. It feels uncomfortable. It is essential for growth. As much as I'm making this for all of you, I also need like a kick up the butt. First up, I have treated myself to some new beautiful pieces from Naked, which I think is probably my favorite clothing brand at the minute. And so I wanted to do a little shop. Fill my basket with things that are like kind of summery and I feel like they're missing. They're things that I wish my style looked like and Naked very kindly are the sponsors of this part of the video. So Chris. We're gonna do a little haul. These pieces are cute. I can't wait to show you. I actually always like to check out their Instagram page because it genuinely gives me such great outfit inspiration. They have actually given you guys a discount code. I'll have everything linked below, including the details of my discount code, but it is Becca Watson. I'll have it on the screen now. And that actually gets you 30% off. That's 30% off everything for new customers. But don't worry if you have shopped there before, you can still get 15% off using my code. Just be sure if you are a new customer that you create an account and you log in in order for the code to work. That should also work across the UK, Europe, the US. If you've been wanting to try out Naked before, try out their pieces, they're genuinely amazing quality. Now you have a sign with my discount code to try out Naked for the first time. How beautiful is this crochet top? I feel like I have been a crochet linen summer girly forever. I love how this is kind of like a vest style and it has the beautiful like ties at the front. Really, really easy to style. So that top is actually part of a beautiful cord set. Look at the skirt, oh my word. I've been seeing these long, flowy, kind of giving me Mamma Mia European beach holiday. These kind of skirts are so beautiful and I don't have anything like this. I did also get myself like the perfect pair of linen trousers. I don't know how, but I don't own any linen trousers. I'm off to Miami next month. So these kind of pieces, I'm very much imagining wearing them 
in Miami on my holiday. Okay, so I actually love a little cropped shirt. I feel like I have quite a few like oversized striped shirts, plain shirts, but there was something about this one that I loved. First of all, it has like a raw hem. Also, the other thing that sold me with this is, look at these sleeves. This part, I feel like it's details like this that kind of make naked pieces stand out. Really simple ways to kind of elevate a relatively basic piece. Okay, imagine this piece on the beach. This is very holiday-esque. I don't know how you describe this. Okay, they've said thin strap cape dress and I feel like that is exactly what this is. I can't remember for sure how the model styled this. I feel like you could wear this over top a bikini. Then I have this little two-piece outfit in mind. I don't actually have, you know, the kind of like tailored vest look. These have just been everywhere for ages now. I actually loved how this had a really, it's not like too structured a material, so it will be really nice and flowy for the summer and then i just got myself a really basic pair that can't go wrong of these like tailored black shorts just classy classy basics for accessories i got myself two pairs of they're both black but two pairs of sandals in my mind these will go so nicely with this little like black outfit and then i just wanted a pair of black buckle sandals as well and then i love how these are chunky they have like a white stitching across then i got myself a couple jewelry pieces i got these two rings in the set these are very pretty so i can't wait to try this on this is this very chunky gold bracelet which i think will just look good with every single outfit I showed you. <laughs> a huge thank you to Naked for working with me on this part of the video and remember guys to use my discount code Becca Watson to save some money to try out Naked. I know you guys will love them. my yoga class that was such a nice little event i always feel so lucky to be invited to brand campaigns events things like that and i've been going to a few more like wellness themed ones which is nice to be in that space and meet other creators who are also wellness creators but yeah this one was in bodyism bodyism i think that's how you say it in notting hill i always feel nervous when i go to events and that's like part of my job i don't have to go it's like a nice way to network to meet people and also build connections with brands however there is that like element each time where i get in my head and quite a lot of the time they're not plus one kind of events it's like you go by yourself that just is a bit nerve-wracking so i felt really proud of myself today i definitely was just in the right headspace this morning i was like it is an absolute pleasure always to be invited if i show up and i don't have anyone to talk to that's fine like just be natural and then when i got there there was actually a girl there who i've met at a previous event yeah we really hit off like every time i see her she's so lovely we spent some time afterwards just chatting catching up and that's someone who i've met like through all of this I felt this morning like i was like, reaping the benefits of pushing myself into maybe a more slightly uncomfortable situation something that would have been really easy to say no to but i knew like deep down i definitely wanted to go i knew it'd be good for me i'm not good at yoga definitely like want to do this more consistently so i can see myself get better at it i think it's a really important lesson like when you want to try something new you have to remember that you're not going to be good at it straight away and you have to go through that phase of like being terrible at something to get good at something. But yeah, I had a really good morning. That's something I can take off my list. Something that feels out my comfort zone next to my next little challenge for myself. I've seen people on TikTok do this where you like take yourself out for lunch. And I don't mean like a coffee shop. I actually go to a place and like order a meal. And so I wanna do that. I think I'll like bring a book. I did it in a video like a couple weeks ago, but that was just like a ramen bar. Felt a little scary. It, it's so weird. Cause when you're there, you feel like 
people are probably judging you like why is that girl by herself eating alone no one's thinking that like have you yourself ever thought that about someone when you've seen them alone i know for me whenever i see someone reading in a park alone like enjoying their own company i'm like good on you okay you guys i i got myself together and we're wearing these two pieces from Naked that I showed you. And we're ready for lunch. I'm not gonna lie, I was procrastinating a bit because the idea of this makes me feel a little weird. I think in my brain, I'm like, what's the point? Just don't bother, but it's like, it is actually a really nice thing to do for yourself. I've dressed up for myself. Not that this is like crazy, fancy formal just whenever i'm heading out the house by myself i'm not seeing anyone i will put on my everyday attire which is like either joggers or jeans a hoodie and just like never seeing the point of looking cute for yourself this is an outfit i would feel good like meeting a friend it's okay to dress up for yourself i'm gonna pop this little blazer on i feel like this goes i do like this outfit it is very cute i'm gonna bring a little book with me Okay, hello. Let's talk about it. I just had my first, well, at least what felt like my proper first lunch date by myself. I'm sorry, there's some form of construction happening in the background, so that's what that buzzing is. But yes, I'm proud of myself. In a very weird way, I am. Doing something that did make me feel uncomfortable because it does force you to kind of sit by yourself and just tell you what, there was one thing I was like very mindful of. I didn't wanna just sit and scroll through my phone. So I'm very glad I brought a book. I think that's something that a lot of people find maybe a little bit scary, the whole like being alone with your thoughts. And also it's like, you kind of overthink what you're doing. Right now, I'm even a little bit uncomfortable. You're sitting there, it kind of feels like everyone's looking at you being like, what's this girl doing? No one's thinking that, like everyone's just minding their own business. Frankly, I'm glad I did it. And I think it's something I kind of wanna do for myself more often. So obviously this being my job now, I feel like it's kind of easy for me to just fall into the routine of doing my one video a week, which I didn't even do last week. I was on holiday and like I know it's okay for me to take time off like anybody, but I felt really bad. Anyway, with this being my job now, I explained at the start of this video was like something that was really scary to me, uploading on YouTube, doing the social media thing and trying to grow in that world. Now. I've been doing it for like three years, so it feels a lot more natural. Like the day-to-day -day part of my job, the more bare minimum stuff that I do feels very much in my comfort zone. Like sitting here and editing all day feels very much in my comfort zone and is my happy place and I love that. A big thing I want for this job and like the reason why I did leave my full-time job last year is to open up more opportunities for myself and like really feel like I'm taking advantage. With that comes starting new things, new projects. This can apply to anyone. I have a vision of like what I wanna do. You guys know I released a Notion Planner at the start of this year and I kinda released that very softly with my brand like Bloom with Becca. And I do wanna do so much more with that but it's like, okay, so I need to really find time in every single week to work on that. It's something that really scares me and I think that's why I've been putting it off and procrastinating it because like kind of unknown territory playing around with projects that I'm not the most experienced in, like they seem a little scary. So I'm gonna s actually take some time right now today to crack on with 
this project. My biggest advice when it comes to project management, starting something new is like, that's the hardest bit, starting. That just looks so overwhelming. You're like, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. There's a million steps involved. It's all about like breaking up all that work into manageable chunks. So today I'm just gonna, for example, I need to work on the website, the Bloom with Becca website. So we're just focusing on that today. We can manage that today. everything right is where we live it's who we spend our time with it's our job and I think we all know right that growth happens outside of your comfort zone when you are actually in that state of discomfort and I'm not here saying it's healthy to go about life constantly living in a state of discomfort but it is about balance and kind of making sure like we're always learning starting new hobbies meeting new people learning does not stop after you graduate now I've brought you guys along on this past week and shown you like my silly silly little examples like taking myself for lunch the gym weightlifting and starting a project that scares me. I hope you feel inspired to push your limits a little bit this week, try something new, make yourself a little bit nervous because those feelings are a good sign. And just remember to do whatever it is you're doing with purpose. Make sure you remember why you're doing it and be proud of yourself because that feels amazing. So thank you guys for joining me on this video. It felt like a little bit different to my usual videos but yes, this is the start of the kind of bloom of Becca for summer content and I hope you guys loved it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.